Hello! Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I really appreciate it. This is my weekly Cardano recap. Usually about every Thursday or Friday, I hit you guys with all of the latest and greatest Cardano news, and this is going to be a fun one. We're going to be talking about the DJED stablecoin. It's a new paper released by IOG. Charles tweeted about it the other day. We're actually going to take a little bit of a a little deep dive, a little overview of it. I'm excited to talk about that. Also, Alonzo White is here. The hard fork has happened, and the hard fork is now allowing people to use smart contracts on the test net. So we're going to be taking a closer look at that. Uh, we're also going to be talking about, you know, the to the full extent of you know your capabilities in the Alonzo White test net. What can you do right now? You know, we're going to be jumping into that today because I actually am a part of Alonzo White. Um, and yeah, well, we're also doing the giveaway today. Uh, last week we did a Crypt Keeper wallet giveaway. We're going to be doing another one today. Uh, these are pretty nice. They're pretty expensive. So make sure you don't miss this. The details for how to participate will be at the end of the video. And uh, if you guys would, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and commented down below. And also delegated to Bloom. We have Bloom through Bloom 6. We actually minted the eighth block ever on top of the Cardano blockchain. So we've been here from the beginning and, you know, we'll be here till your end because Cardano will live past us all. Um, and on top of that, you get paid Bloom tokens on top of your ADA staking rewards and not in exchange for. So let's jump into the video today. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the DJED stablecoin. And this was initially posted by IOG and Charles himself. He says, been busy. And he has been. You know, we haven't been getting too many AMAs or too many video updates. And, uh, you know, this is probably one of the many things they're working on, uh, you know, between Africa Partnerships uh, and Lonzo White Testnet and everything else that they're doing. So let's read um and honestly, the abstract uh, is good and also the introduction. I like a bit of it. So we're going to go ahead and read this. And then we're going to kind of talk about what it means afterwards. So DJED, a formally verified crypto-backed peg algorithmic stablecoin. In the abstract, this paper describes DJED. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. I, I know. I know what we can do. We're going to have to open it in a new tab for you guys. Open image in a new tab. There we go. Beautiful. Don't say I ever forget about you guys. So this paper describes DJED, an algorithmic stablecoin protocol that behaves like an autonomous bank that buys and sells stablecoins for a price in a range that is pegged to a target price. It is a crypto backed in a sense that the bank keeps a volatile cryptocurrency in its reserve. The reserve is used to buy stablecoins from users that want to sell them and revenue from sales of stablecoins to users are stored in the reserve. Besides stablecoins, the bank also trades the reserve coins in order to capitalize itself and maintain a reserve ratio significantly greater than one. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first stablecoin protocol where stability claims are precisely and mathematically stated and proven. Furthermore, the claims and their proofs are formally verified using two different techniques, bounded model checking, to exhaustively search for computer examples to the claims and interact with theorem proving to build rigorous formal proofs using proof assistant with automated theorem proving features. So that was a mouthful. But so let's think about, you know, what is a stable coin? We all know the basic stable coin to where you have one coin, you know, on top of Ethereum or on top of any other blockchain that is tied to the dollar. You know, a dollar is being shown in a bank account or it can be like Tether uh, and it's not tied to anything really besides, you know, 3% of the total value that they claim. Well, there's another type of stable coin and this is an algorithmic stable coin. And this algorithmic stable coin is going to hold its value, you know, through a smart contract. And this is pretty complicated, you know, the way this works. There, there's going to be, you know, you know, certain parameters, certain things that are set in there that determine when the smart contract itself, you know, is going to be buying back stable coins or, or giving this out because that reserve has to have a, a ratio, you know, relative that, that stays secure, you know, that stays the same. So that reserve value stays relative to the amount of value that's out of, you know, the contract. And, um, you know, I'm really happy to see them actually working on this paper because this is just the first, you know, step of this. You know, this is like the real long-term thinking that I love about Cardano and that I love about IOG is because with Plutus and it being a formally verified language, you know, 
they can actually write these papers and mathematically prove it and then write it into code and then actually have a smart contract that can't be broken. You know, imagine a time, and this is going to be coming soon, sooner than we all think that, that we can actually just interact, you know, with a smart contract that has been proven, you know, through these papers and is now written to where it can just act as a bank, you know, where we submit some of our ADA in there or maybe a stable coin in the country that we're in, and that pays us back a real interest rate. And then, you know, maybe we can take out loans on that value. And, and it, we know for sure that it's verifiably secure. You know, and that's one of the biggest advantages that Cardano offers is this is, you know, a, a real push towards, you know, science and, and rigor in the cryptocurrency space. You know, there are a lot of people doing great things and there are a lot of great projects on Ethereum, um, but having Plutus and being able to, you know, write verifiably, you know, verifiable contracts, uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, and, and that's what this is. You know, this is the first, you know, verifiably proven stable coin, uh, and it's going to be on top of the Cardano blockchain. And that's awesome. And it just gets me so excited and so curious, you know, what, what other, you know, contracts, uh, and, you know, financial services that, you know, will be created on Cardano that are new to this world that have never been created before because of what Cardano offers. You know, this is a real step forward in the space. You know, and with Gogan coming out very shortly, we're going to be talking about Alonzo White in just one second. Um, man, I have to say I'm excited about all of this. Uh, if you guys are excited uh, about this stablecoin, type in DJED down below and let me know. Um, I did want to read this too. Uh, with the narrowest sense of stablecoin and cryptocurrencies at its price peg, so this is what we were mentioning earlier, and fully backed by reserves denominated in some fiat currency. More broadly, a stablecoin can be defined as a digital asset that has mechanisms to maintain a low deviation of its price. Um, but look right here. So we were talking about Ergo in my live stream earlier this week, and I said they have a small place in my heart because of the, the extended UTXO format. And I do believe there is going to be some value in proof of work in the future, you know, for certain niche use cases like, you know, proving proof of work, et cetera. So they, they actually mentioned, you know, we would like to thank Alex Alexander Trupanoy. Uh, and a few other names, Nicholas uh, Aqueros, too. That was from Emergo. And then Robert Kornacki. Uh, they actually left and started another company called DC Spark, which I'm very bullish on, man. Uh, Nicholas, Sebastian, and Robert are all great minds, you know. So, And they're, they're thanking them for the discussion of the stablecoin protocol for its implementation on ErgoScript. And we are grateful to the Ergo community for deploying this implementation on the Ergo blockchain. So this stablecoin is actually, in effect, already in use on the Ergo blockchain. I'm not sure if it's the same exact type of stablecoin, uh, but if you guys are interested in me like getting on the Ergo blockchain and trying it out a little bit, uh, then I will. We can do that in the AMA or something. But let's go on to the next part of the video. So, fun five. This is very important for you to register to vote in Cardano so you know your voice can have an impact on the projects that are building on Cardano. And, you know, I want to start doing this in my AMAs, especially during the registration periods. You know, make sure you guys vote. You know, you can actually do this in the Reroy or the Daedalus wallet uh, with Ledger and Trezor support. So make sure you guys vote. You know, there's no excuse not to right now. And today's the 16th, and uh, we can scroll down here. The actual registration end date is July 19th, 2021, and it's at 1059 UTC. And that's the end date, right? So, and then the snapshot is the next day and, or no, it's at, it's the, it's the next minute really. And whatever ADA you have in your wallet at that time of snapshot is when you'll be able to vote. And then right here, you know, July 22nd, 2021, that's when the voting starts and then the voting ends on August 2nd. So you guys still have three more days to register to vote. So make sure you get to that. And then let's go over the registration requirements real quick. Minimum 500 ADA, the deadline to register is the 9th, and the registration fee is plus or minus, you know, 0.17 ADA. Sometimes it goes up to 0.2. Have the most up-to-date version of the Catalyst app. Save your QR code and PIN, right? If you registered in Fund 4 and were able to cast your votes, your registration will automatically be valid for Fund 5 voting round, provided you still have your QR and PIN code. Don't need to read register. Your wallet balance will be updated every new snapshot. So that's pretty cool. So if you didn't, if you already registered for Fund Four, uh, do that. 
If you've never registered before, just to give you a real quick, you know, general rundown of how this works, you know, you have your normal wallet and in your Euroi or your Daedalus wallet, there's a registration tab. You go to the registration tab, you know, you, you, you just essentially complete a transaction, you know, stating that I am registering to vote for this fund. And then you're, you're given a QR code and you're also required to write down a pen. Just write down the QR code, take a picture of the pen and then save that somewhere. If you want to do multiple wallets, you can do that, but you're going to have to save the QR codes and the pens separate. So essentially just have image files of all of the different wallets that you have that you want to vote with, you know, and um, what you would then do, you know, when it comes time to vote is you're going to then, you know, delete the app and then scan a new QR code, type in the pen, vote, delete the app, scan the QR code, type in the pen and vote. Um, so that's how it works with voting with multiple wallets right now. If you guys have any questions about any of this, uh, just join the Discord server down below and we'll help you out with that. Alonzo White, the moment we've all been waiting for. The hard fork has finally happened on Alonzo White. So to give you a real quick recap, you know, we had the Alonzo Blue testnet last. And Alonzo Blue had a little bit of functionality. You could run basic Plutus scripts. Um, but there's a lot more functionality with Alonzo White. So there's something on Cardano called the hard fork combinator. If you've watched any of my videos, you've heard it a million times and it aligns, you know, every different, you know, device or configuration in the system to all hard fork, you know, over to, you know, a new upgraded version of the chain. Well, that's something that has to be tested, right? There are a lot of complicated, you know, additions to the base protocol with Alonzo um, that, you know, the only way to do this is to use this combinator. So we have to test that, you know, and that's what we actually do each test now, you know, for Alonzo Blue, they test the hard fork for Alonzo White, they test in the hard fork again. And, you know, once the hard fork happens, it's just like it would be on Cardano. You have the Mary era in Cardano, which added native tokens, NFTs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hard fork over to the new era. Right. And that's going to be, you know, the Alonzo era with smart contracts. Well, on the test net, we're testing that and it just happened and it went damn good. There were no problems with the hard fork on Alonzo White and this added the additional functionality. So now what they're doing is they're slowly giving us exercises to test things. And uh, we're going to go over what all of the exercises are today. And then I want to let you guys know that if you do uh, want to be a part uh, of these exercises and know what's going on, just subscribe um, and then, you know, follow my videos, the notification bell and click all, make sure you don't miss them. But on the AMA on Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're actually going to be running a Plutus smart contract live. So if you guys are interested in tuning in for that, just show up Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we'll do that. And then, um, you know, as these come out, these new exercises, we're going to be doing them and I'll be showing you guys uh, the inside. So if you do want to support the channel and make sure you don't miss those, just um, just do just that, you know. So exercise three, this is just basic address and transactions. And exercise four is where it starts to get spicy. And this is what we actually have access to right now is exercise four. And it's compiling and submitting simple Plutus scripts. And this is compiling simple Plutus transactions, submitting Plutus transactions. And you can just write, you know, a basic script, a hello world script that does text. And what's coming very soon, later this week, we're actually going to have the ability to you know, manage native tokens, which, you know, you think on Cardano, we already have native tokens right now. Well, when Plutus is, is on Cardano, native tokens are going to have a lot more functionality. You know, in Ethereum, uh, a great example is, you know, whenever you swap an NFT back and forth from some of the main sites, a little bit of that trade actually goes back to the artist, you know, which is very cool. So little things like that, or there's a lot more functionality coming to native tokens. And the next exercise that we're going to be getting very soon is actually going to allow us to try out some of those. And again, we're going to be doing that on this channel when we have the ability to, and then you can see the difference right here. So mining tokens using the Mary era forging scripts, which is what we have now. And then the Plutus forging scripts, which is where, you know, we get to add a lot more to them, which is very cool. And then time-based scripts too, which is awesome. Um, and then minting NFTs. So exercise six, it's dApps. Building more substantial dApps and integrating with external events. So this is very cool. This is when we're gonna have the ability to swap. I'm definitely gonna have a video of me swapping some tokens on Cardano. Integrating with the wallet, 
This is just going to be using the Cardano wallet CLI and using transactions with Plutus scripts using the CLI wallet and then some more simple dApps using the wallet CLI. And then uh, each of these exercises also have sub exercises. So for the dApps example, I'm sure we're going to have a couple different options, maybe some liquidity pools, maybe some swaps. But yeah, that is the video for this week. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And then of course, the Crypt Keeper giveaway. Let me actually pull that out real quick. I want to show you guys what it actually looks like so you can be excited for it. So these Crypt Keepers, I love them myself. This is they actually protect your wallet keys from fire or water damage. You know, your mnemonic phrase, if your house burns down, if you get flooding damage, you know, that paper is going to get messed up. So what you can do to further back up your Trezor, your Ledger, your Roy, your Daedalus, is you buy one of these. Or you win it in this giveaway today. And what you can actually do is in the metal, you know, punch in the metal. And that allows you to back up that mnemonic phrase. And then what you actually have to do to enter the giveaway today is like this video, comment down below, and then join the Discord server. Once you're in the Discord server, you're going to have to verify, you know, your identity, not your identity, but, you know, that you're a real person with a CAPTCHA. And then you're going to go to the Bloom-Tokens tab. And then in the Bloom-Tokens tab, you're going to see the, you know, the weekly Crypt Keeper giveaway right there. So then just react with the confetti symbol and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Um, if you are out of the United States, you will have to pay for shipping. So I do apologize for that. But if you're in the United States, we'll cover your shipping um, and then we'll be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to comment down below. If you made it till the end, let's type in some Cardano dApps down below. And I appreciate you guys tuning, every, tuning in every week. It means the world, but I'll see you later.